guys, in today's video, we're gonna show you this one innocent little move you are making that is slowly killing your tennis serve. Before we get into this video, how do we know that this is killing the tennis serve, Javier? We ran a camp and we saw this move over and over again. We're gonna explain it to them, but before we explain them the issue, if you wanna train with us, because after you watch this video, you're gonna wanna train with me and Javier all over the world. We're gonna be going to South America in February, we're gonna see Pablo Cuervas with us. He's gonna be with us. He's gonna be with us, for sure. Jose Luis Clark. Of course he's gonna be with us. And then tell them who we're gonna see at the Argentina Open. And then Alcaraz is gonna play and hopefully he's gonna win once again the tournament. Yeah, so if you're interested in traveling, playing tennis, we're going to South America. We're going back to Rafa's Academy. We're going to Patrick Mortagu's Academy. We're going to camps out here in Atlanta. If that sounds good to you, Fill out the form at the card section, which is at the very top of this video. You'll see it popping up now. And also in the description link, the description box. Okay, let's get right into this lesson. So guys, Javier is going to demonstrate the move that is slowly killing your serve. It looks like a very innocent move. Keep going, Javier, right there. Right there. You see what he just did there? As he's coming from here, to here, it's over. We're gonna show you some videos of people at our camp because once you make this innocent little move, what's gonna happen is you're gonna keep coming up into that waiter tray position. Look how the elbow is in a weak position. This is how you don't get to elbow the enemy. And then you end up pushing your serve. So even though you're always maybe focused on trying to find your problem somewhere up here because you start to see the waiter tray and you're trying to fix it up here, if you do this little move right here, Boom, it's over. From here on out, camp after camp, we see that people come to this position from there, elbow comes in, and they hit. Okay, so watch Javier make the first move that we want to start doing. Go in slow motion and watch what we want to do instead. He's turning, look at this, and now watch what he does from there. The racket stays the inside. There you go, and then he's going to hit, okay? So I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna come here, so for lefties, this is great, because we've got a righty and a lefty. So what we're showing you is instead of flipping back like this, which is the killer, once I come to this position, and I like this weak wrist position, you're gonna see Serena Williams do this, you're gonna see Federer do this, see Djokovic do this, a lot of great players, their wrist is very weak right here, and you'll even notice that pitchers, quarterbacks, they have this kind of look before they throw, this helps me get a lot of whip and racket at speed. So from there, what happens is I start to rise up this way, and I have a little bit more of an exaggerated elbow than Javier does. Notice how I'm coming back to that classic great tip from Jeff Saldesine, which is the elbow the enemy move. And so now I can get a lot of power, where most people, they're here, and the racket face is open, and then so instead of a swinging, striking motion, you're doing a punching, pushing motion. But if I can come to here, to here, then I can get more of that professional style serve. Javier and I are gonna give you a couple of drills so you start learning how to do this. So the first thing to do is to start with that unit turn. You start here and the only thing you do is you bring your racket. Start here and you just turn until you reach that position, one. So the next thing I'm gonna have you do, and I'm gonna give you a 100 shadow stroke challenge. Don't even worry about hitting buckets of serves today. If you can just do this move 100 times and film yourself and see if you have it, you can start to realistically get rid of this bad habit. So what I want you to do is, first of all, let's just do this without the racket in the hand and figure out what the body has to do. A lot of this stuff, anybody can have perfect technique if you want to. It comes down to training, not talent. It doesn't take talent to do this, to just literally do this. Anybody can do that. You see, I'm doing that, and I can see, very important to see the palm of your hand where you give somebody a high five, but you're bringing it up this way, and as you're doing that, you're basically gonna be kicking your elbow back at the same time. See that, so coming up in here, making this little move, practicing that, right there. So notice how the tossing arm is leading and this hand is still down here. We look at Novak Djokovic, we're gonna see that he's got a big built-in hesitation. He's up here, Federer does the same thing. Rackets here, it's not 
down together, up together, because then you're back in the hitting zone too soon. You're back here in the racket drop too soon, and you're going to lose a lot of power. So you want to hesitate down here. That's what the pros are doing. And so you just practice doing this move. Your racket strings that can hit the ball should be towards the inside. You should be able to hit a tennis ball that way. You don't want to bring your strings this way. See, now I can't hit a tennis ball forward. You want to make this move to where you can still hit a tennis ball forward and take a look at yourself. Rather than focus on a fake toss, actually study the way your racket's moving, feel your elbow kick back, and then eventually you can bring it up into secret power source. So that'd be the final thing. It's come up here, bring it up into secret power source, and then do some shadow swings. I would not even hit a serve today, guys, if you truly want to kill this bad habit. I've been a big proponent of the King Richard movie where Venus and Serena, the ladies who played them, they had amazing technique, especially amazing serve technique. I'll put it right up here in the video, and you can see that weak wrist that we're talking about. That young lady looks better than most people in playing 30, 40 their years, their entire life, because they had to do shadow strokes for two and a half months before they were allowed to hit a ball. So that's all we want you doing today on the serve, those two drills, but we have so much more for you. What do we have for them, Javier? I have many more drills for you waiting in the south of France, in Argentina, in Uruguay, in Spain, Mallorca, Madrid. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah, so if you wanna come travel with us, we also, I also do lots of camps out here in Atlanta. We go to the Masterclass Clinic in Cincinnati. We watch the Western Southern Open. If any of that sounds appealing to you, Fill out the form in the description box and the card section here. Also put in the comments section. Also, though, if you're like, Pete, I just can't get away right now, but I really want to work on my serve. I've got an amazing seven-day serve challenge for you where I basically give you my life's work on the serve. You go to sevendayservechallenge.com to sign up. I'm going to put the link also right here in the description box, and it will also be in the pinned comment below sign up for that seven-day serve challenge. You are going to love it. I've had thousands upon thousands of students go through it and their serve has improved dramatically. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Please like this video. It really helps the channel grow and we want to uh, keep in touch with you. So we know you're a totally obsessed tennis player. If you're a totally obsessed tennis player, subscribe to our channel. Javier, teach everybody how to say goodbye in Spanish. Hasta luego, chicos. <laughs>